This RPA system video shows you how to add a participant to the New South Wales Restrictive Practices Authorisation System. Start by clicking on the participant link on the menu bar. Search for the participant to ensure that they are not already registered. When the record is not found, click on the Add Participant button. Please note that there is a floating menu bar on the right side of the page so you can easily navigate between each section of the page. Enter the participant's first name, last name and address. Click on the suburb search function and start typing the suburb name, then select the correct suburb. Enter the participant's date of birth, gender, and ensure that the status is active. Enter their NDIS participant ID number. If they do not have one, click on the tick box for the continuity of service agreement. Scroll down to enter the branch list details. Always select head office as a branch for each participant. If additional branches have been created for your organisation, then select the additional branch for that participant. Select the primary practitioner from the drop down. If the participant's primary practitioner is not listed, follow the instructions in the video adding a practitioner to add them to the system. Scroll down to the additional information section and select the NDIA region. Select the person's Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander status from the drop down list. Select the appropriate response from the drop down list as to whether the participant is from a culturally and linguistically diverse background. Select the accommodation setting from the drop down list. Then select the primary disability from the drop down list. Click Save. Please note that you will not be able to save the record until all mandatory fields have been populated. You will now be able to search for the participant in the participant page and create a new RPA form as needed for this participant. Thank you.